Good morning, I'm Daniel with Avanti. I'm here this morning with Harold Kosova. He's president of National Power Routing. Thanks for meeting with me. Appreciate it. Um, you've been in the industry for a long time. When, when did you come into the grouting market? Came into the grouting market in 1962. 1962. When we developed the grouting. Yeah, that was the beginning of... That was the very beginning. Municipal grouting. Yeah. And what was the need at that time? Why did you, why were you part of developing this? There was a contractor in uh, Cottonwood Falls, Kansas, that put it in a sewer line alongside of a hill. And it was 25 feet deep, and the joints were leaking. Okay. At the same time, ironically, uh, American cyanamide had come about through their chemistries developing this uh, grout that none of us were familiar with, except American cyanamide. We had the television camera in which to be able to um, uh, put the, any kind of equipment inside the sewer line in order to try to solve these problems of infiltration, and they had the need. We both got together and we tried to learn more about grouting, which was really a, now it's comical. It wasn't comical then. <laughs> um, we set up and we started grouting the first leaking joint and we couldn't understand after we got through why it didn't seal off. So we said, okay, let's go to the next one. And we went to the next one and we had the same scenario all the way through the whole line. Well, we were kind of disgusted and uh, we decided, okay, let's pull everything out at the downstream manhole and uh, uh, let's just put the television camera in and see what we got. We put the television camera in and lo and behold, they were all sealed. And we don't know why. So it was working. You just it was know. working. We just didn't know what we did to make it work. Okay. Today, of course, routing is a big savior in a lot of areas in which to solve infiltration problems. Yeah, we've, we, we believe there's actually a resurgence right now of the grouting industry. And, and um, what do you attribute that to? The need? Uh, I, think, uh, I think more engineers and more contractors and more municipalities are being educated by webinars, by specialized meetings, uh, and I think that they're, they're seeing the need uh, on how to solve their problems by this education that's going on. Yeah. Don't forget we have brand new engineers that are coming out of uh, different universities. Uh, they're, they're taking their position in the industry, but they too have got to be taught at what is grouting? How does it work? When will it work? This has got to also be understood as an example. Uh, it has come to an understanding that when you line a pipe, everybody thinks that you can uh, extend the liner to such a degree that water cannot pass through uh, alongside the annular space, and that's incorrect. The water will pass through, and as you cut your service connection uh, reinstatement, it will find its way to that area and still uh, pour into the sewer line. So the treatment plant still sees the same flow coming in? It may not see the same, maybe 10% less, mm. but the majority of it definitely is going to be to the tr treatment plant. There's okay. no question. Let's talk more about the engineers and their importance, their role in uh, the specifications for grouting. It is extremely important that an engineer knows enough about grouting so that the specification reflects um, the, how it's to be applied, when it's to be applied, what type of materials to be used as far as grout, um, where do these lines uh, lie, are they along a riverbed, are they on the streets. All this has got to be brought out mm -hmm. so that uh, the contractor uh, knows what they're getting into and, and therefore the, uh, the grouting program will go easy. And certainly after lining when they uh, do cut, cut the holes to reinstate the laterals then those can be grouted. If they didn't grout it initially they can grout it at right, that point. Right, right. Very good point. Uh, the service connections can also be grouted at this point so that when, uh, when they make the cut 
uh, in the liner in order to reinstate uh, for the home or the industry to be uh, uh, bringing the effluent in, uh, we can now set up on that service connection and we can put grout between the host pipe and the outside diameter of the liner and uh, seal that off so that water now cannot get into the sewer. Cool. What do you think moving forward in the next 10 years, um, what do you believe the industry needs to continue growing? Further education. There are always new people coming into the industry. We need further education. Um, we, we need more webinars. We need more uh, classroom uh, activity. I think it's very important. It's, uh, you're passionate about your staff respecting the chemicals and uh, taking care of themselves. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure can. Uh, we all got to remember that we are dealing with chemicals. In the grouting industry, you got to be very careful. Housekeeping becomes a very, very important part of the grouting operation. Um, and, and I think uh, Avanti, has got to uh, address this issue and uh, make sure that all contractors that are buying material have got to understand on what the dangers are sure. so that we all are in a safe environment. Sure, cool. Good point. So. Good point. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome.